I want to address um, the F Floyd Mayweather controversial comment um, about Jeremy Lin. I wasn't going to make a video about it, uh, this subject, but I can't escape it. It's been, it's been on um, the internet, TV, radio, so I just want to share my thoughts on the subject. Um, the Mayweather tweets, um, this is what um, Mayweather tweeted about Jeremy Lin. Um, it reads as so. Um, Jeremy Lin is a good player, but um, all of the hype is because he's Asian. Um, black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. Now, um, it would be easy to denounce this comment and just file it under ignorant. Instead of um, dismissing the comment, let's investigate May Mayweather's um, claim. Now, um, Mayweather um, acknowledged that Jeremy Lin is a good player. Well, that that's obvious. Um, I don't see how it benefits the NBA and the media to hype up Jeremy Lin um, just because he's Asian. Okay, of course I um, I can see um, maybe he's he's getting a little extra attention because he is Asian in a sea of black players of course um, you could look at it from the angle maybe the NBA is trying to um, capture another economic demographic by going after um, those Asian dollars and um, Asian um, consumers or maybe um, the NBA is trying to present a more of a wholesome image um, than the NBA have been displaying so far. Um, I can admit to this because I am black. Um, a lot of black players are perceived as arrogant with attitudes and non-team players. Now in some instances you, the view is um, is warranted. There are some um, black players that are arrogant and do have bad attitudes, but in general it's an unfair stereotype um, to me um, that is an unfair stereotype that's been lumped on the head of all black athletes and is not fair. Now maybe an unfair stereo now that may be an unfair stereotype, but is those kind of stereotypes are hard to escape. But what you have with Jeremy Lin is you have a more wholesome type representative for um, the NBA. Um, Jeremy Lin, um, very like um, he's a Christian number one. Um, he don't have a lot of tattoos. He don't, you know, um, he's a humble guy. He's a team player. He's a Christian, you know. And yet, once you measure all those benefits that the end of um, that the NBA would gain by hyping him it just because he's Asian I don't think I think the game would be would be minuscule I mean you know the you know what Mayweather said about Jeremy Lin is very reminiscent of what Rush Limbaugh um, said about um, Donovan McNabb a few years back about um, black quarterbacks um, when he was on um, when Rush Limbaugh, um, Rush Limbaugh, excuse me, when Rush Limbaugh was on um, ESPN, um, I can't recall um, the Limbaugh. I can't ex recall Limbaugh exact words. I am paraphrasing what he said. That I think he said this: Donovan McNabb is overrated because he's a black quarterback. Now, at the time, that was very was a very controversial um, comment. At that, um, in fact, they fired Rush from ESPN for saying that. Now, is that type of hype outside of the realm of um, outside the realm of possibility? Of course not. In some cases, the media do choose minorities in any field. Um, in an effort to hype them and or in an effort to crush racial stereotypes. Um, there have been overhyped black athletes 
um, as well I could go down a list but I will not for this video because uh, I don't feel like doing that um, and yet in this case I don't think this type of hype is present and hypothetically speaking let's say if that was the case if it was if it wouldn't be but if, if let's say if that was the case that he is being hyped um, because he's Asian I don't think it would be a major factor uh, maybe a small factor and yet I think it's fair to call Mayweather's um, Jeremy Lin comment racially provocative because of his history of making other racially insensitive comments um, about Asian athletes um, for example Manny Pacquiao um, just like Rush Limbaugh De Donovan McNabb comment was called into question because of his um, because of Limbaugh's history of provocative language um, concerning blacks so should Mayweather's comments for his history of making um, racist and, and racially insensitive um, comments about Manny Pacquiao um, now on now there's a there's a variety of reasons I don't um, like Floyd Mayweather um, his brash and arrogant behavior his crude language his violent outbursts has caused him much legal trouble his constant violation of the law um, he plays into every racial stereotype about black athletes his um, behavior only reinforce those stereotypes so I have to consider you have to cons really you have to consider the source of where this comment is coming from um, this comment made about Jeremy Lin and what Mayweather has said about uh, Manny Pacquiao can be condemned as racist I'm sorry um, I do have to admit one thing though I have to admit that Jeremy Lin is overrated and overhyped not because he's Asian or whatever um, it has nothing to do with race and more to do with um, the New York media machine this is an effort by the NBA and the New York media to hype Jeremy Lin it's about money not race the NBA the NBA want their own version of Tim Tebow I never seen an athlete in any sport is hyped like this guy just for winning uh, four games or a few games this happened before this had happened before other players that came off the bench and went on am amazing streaks or whatever um, taking their team um, to you know um, win to higher winning streaks or whatever um, they may have may have not been putting up the numbers of Jeremy Lin. Now you may not have um, they may not have put up the numbers of Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Lin, and yet what Jeremy Lin did in those few games have been done before. I mean, you have to consider this. You have to consider the reason why he may he be doing well right now Jeremy Lin is of course I believe is a product of the New York media hype machine I don't think this could happen anywhere else but in New York I don't think any other East Coast team could have done um, hype machine could have done this because of the media market is in New York um, as for um, Jeremy Lin and his playing ability it's like this this is a weird season they was camp was they came off this strike or whatever right the season started everyone is tired right now everyone has tired legs Jeremy Lin is is the fresh guy on the court this is a shortened season right now okay once it's, it's hard even if Jeremy Lin was to was to continue continue his winning ability I mean his 
his win streak right now on you know later on and get to the playoffs or whatever if he continue this this year I don't think this year should count as of him being a great player he's a good player okay but the hype he's getting right now he's getting a Kobe Bryant hype he's getting LeBron James hype and those guys got the kind of hype or whatever that kind of uh, hype that Jeremy Lin is getting it took even though those players came into the league with a lot of hype they was not in the media as much as Jeremy Lin is they had to work to get that kind of hype or whatever of course it took them years you know it took you know for them to get into playoffs or whatever for them to be getting shoe deals and and to be getting um um, to be talking about doing commercials and things like that with um, um, Spike Lee or, or whatever, you know. So time will tell. You can't really count this season. When next season start next year, then we will have a better picture of where this guy stands among the other players. Okay, because as of right now, he has a uh, a target on his back now. You know, even if he is that good, he, I don't know if he's going to be able to put up the numbers um, that he has been putting up. There's a target on his back right now. Every young player out there, every good player, every potential great player is going to be gunning for Jeremy Lin now. Is because they want to be known as the guy. They want to be in them highlight reels, too. They want to be the guy that squashes Jeremy Lin, all right, especially defensively. And and if we and if um, Jeremy Lin have the kind of game that continues to have the kind of games that he had when they they played against Miami, when Miami put a whooping on them, they're they're going to be in trouble. Okay. Now you can you could say well maybe since Carmelo Anthony um, has returned that he may be messing with the chemistry or whatever. And that may be so, but when I saw Jeremy Lin, he did put up good numbers with um, against um, decent number, I believe, with Miami. I'm not sure. I have to check. I have to check the score. I mean, the numbers he put up, but he did turn the ball over. You know, so it's only time can tell. I don't think he's being hyped because he's Asian. I think it's very unfortunate. I'm gonna say this about Floyd May Mayweather. I think it's very unfortunate, me being a minority myself, a black person, for Floyd Mayweather to say that, even if he thought it to himself. I think, you know, he could have kept that to himself. Now I'm all for everybody saying what they want to say. I don't believe in in policing language or whatever, but. It's, it goes like this you are a minority you know Mayweather we are minorities in this country you know you have to understand there is certain amount of ridicule and language you know that comes the way of minorities or, or whatever you know so I don't think that Floyd should under, I think Floyd should understand that because he's a minority, you know. If Floyd, if somebody, if if Jeremy Lin or say some other Asian athlete had to say that about a black player, black people would be going crazy right now. And yet, black people feel very comfortable um, criti being critical of Jeremy Lin and calling and bringing up the Asian thing or whatever. You know, but it's not just black people because I tell you this: there's no one that discriminate better than minorities. Minorities love to discriminate against other minorities. I do not know why, especially in this country. Okay, uh, um, blacks love having beef with um, Mexicans. Mexicans love having beef with blacks. Um, I've seen. Asians and, 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 and Mexicans go at each other. I've seen Jews and blacks go at each other. I mean, even though Jews is not really considered a minority group, I understand that. But still, 
minority groups love going after each other and is is and I think what Floyd Mayweather said was very unfortunate um, even if he believed it I think he could have held it to himself I'm sure that there's white athletes right now that are playing that have very controversial beliefs and thoughts about black athletes or whatever right and I'm sure that they're keeping it to themselves and if they was to say that it would be a major problem as for Jeremy Lin um, like I said he's getting way too much hype right now way too much hype I think the guy is all hype you have to wait and sit back and see or whatever um, I think the New York media has gone crazy with this guy I think they have fell in love with this guy and they just like the point it's just simple it's it's they just they've been having a losing record for so long and anybody that has come along and helped that team to win they're gonna hype the hell out of them and I think that's what Jeremy Lin is getting right now uh, that's my video if you liked it keep coming back I will be making more um, thank you for listening and peace